good morning students till now we have discussed many concept of database management system this system has several records all records are arranged in a organized way so that according to our requirement we can retrieve we can access that record that data that view today we will our video is going to uh, discuss about a new concept of database management system that is the how records are stored how logical structure of the database how uh, data are related with each other everything this is nothing but this logical structure is nothing but known as data model these are data model or data models data models so this model this is a logical structure of database that is a model so model logical database structure that is your data models so this model defines how this model defines how logical structure i mean database structure is model okay so how logical structure of database is a model is the data models so this database model defines how data are connected to each other this model defines how data in database are connected are connected with each other with each other so, so how data are connected because data in database all records are interrelated and a record is the related fields that are fields contains the data or a value so how data are connected to each other and how they are processed then how how data in database are processed are processed and also how data in database are stored in this system or in database system okay so this model the database models are nothing but the logical structure of the database and this structure shows how records how data values are stored in secondary storage device now how they will be processed so that we can easily access records or data or values in our requirement and basic concept is how records how the data are related with each other so data models are nothing but it is a fundamental entities it is over it is a uh, fundamental entities it is a fundamental entities these are the fundamental entities i mean this fundamental entities are to introduced abstraction in database management system this fundamental entities may tends to the database abstraction or abstractions of records data or values from database 
that is your data base abstracts how to get data or records or values from this database management system or from this database system so basic concept is we are storing data in database system in a organized way and thing is that how the data will be processed and how data are connected with each other inside the database so overall it is a logical structure which is a model that is nothing but the data is a data model okay also we have discussed the data access procedure what are the procedure uh, already we have discussed how to retrieve data or records or values from database system already we have discussed so today this model tells how data are arranged how data linked with each other okay how data linked with each other so this model a uh, very important concept is a fundamental uh, concept of the database management system database system so this model shows how logically this values the database records are stored and how they are processed okay so there are basically two types of data models uh, or broadly it is classified into two categories so two categories there are two categories of this data models okay traditionally uh, currently we are using uh, everything uh, you can broadly classify into two categories one is your object based logical model number one object based logical model this is a um, these models are logical model only second one is your record based the yeah, second first one is your object based logical model second one is your record based logical model so there are two types of uh, two important categories of this data model one is your object based logical model second one is record based logical model so here objects that the real value it is all these models these logical models are based on the real entity the real things but in case of record the this model totally based on records that we are story means the size length some model are fixed some model are not fixed so this models describes the logical and level or view level how data will be extracted how data will be abstracted from database this model shows that so this two categories will discuss okay so first one is your object based logical model number one is object based logical model okay first one is your object based logical model of database object based logical model i mean data model clear so here this model is totally based on object already we know what is object okay so these models are used in describing data in a logical or view level these models in this model data are described data are described but uh, we are using data we are describing at a logical level or view level so here data are described 
that I have described at logical or view loop. So how data are looked, how data are reported, that thing, that concept is based on this one. They are characterized by fact that they are providing fairly flexible structuring capability. So it is a flexible structure. This object-based logical model are having a flexible structure means logical structure. It is having good facilities. It provides a flexible structure so that we can retrieve records, we can retrieve data from this database system. Okay? And allow data constraints to be specified. So here constraints are specified. Here some constraints. Constraints are also specified. As it is a logical structure, so database constraints are uh, specified explicitly. You can add it here explicitly. Explicitly, this data constraint must be specified in this object based data model. So, there are different models, different types of models, different uh, uh, unique models. Several uh, widely used models are there. So, several object based logical models, several object based logical models, those are widely used, those are widely used in your view to tell. So, this model totally based on this object, object is nothing but the real world entities or everything is considered as the object that I are describing at a logical view or a view level. It is, it, is, it is having a flexible structure and some constraints are also specified to help to accessing to retrieving data or value uh, from this database system and it is a model this model is very helpful okay so several of uh, these objects uh, based logical models we are using in a day-to-day -day life that is your e entity relations diagram that is your E R entity entity relationship model E R model that is most important also entity relationship model. So entity entity there must be related because in database we are storing records. Records are not homogeneous already we know. So different records uh, are collected. They are gathered to be stored, the records are required to be stored in database system so that according to our requirement, we can get, we can access, we can retrieve this data or values from this record keeping system or this database system. Another one is your object oriented model. Object oriented model. So, this object oriented model is, uh, is the one type of object based model. So, in this model, this model, all records or values are totally based on uh, objects. So, already uh, uh, we have known uh, the object is the object, that is the real world entities, or the object is a thing which has a specific characteristics and some value, some properties. So, this model, totally object oriented model. Next one is your semantic data model. Semantic data model. And also, we are using another type of data model, which is a fundamental functional data model. Okay. Functional data model. So, these models, entity relationship model, 
or object oriented model or semantic data model or functional data model these model all these models are the um, based on the object so here the examples of uh, uh, several categories several types several um, examples of this object based logical model so only this er model will discuss according to our syllabus brief very uh, briefly we will discuss the er model uh, according to our syllabus okay so second category is, is your record based Second category is is your record based. Record based logical model. So this is this model uh, are also used in describing data, describing data. Um, are the logical or view level also. Just like your object based uh, logical model, this logical model also um, where data are described at, data are described at logical or view level. Okay. So, but they are bo used both to specify the overall logical structure of this database. So, this is record based model has overall uh, describes the overall or uh, specify the overall logical structure of the database. So this record type model describes describes overall logical structure overall overall logical structure of the database. So uh, it also it provides a higher level description of the implementation. So higher level description, they also have the higher level description. Higher level description of the data system. So this is most important, record based logical model. That the overall logical structure of the database will be well described. So record based models are also so named because the database is structured in a fixed format record. It is having a fixed format of records. Fixed format. This is most important. Fixed format records. This fixed format records are used. The records have no number of fixed format fields. So uh, these records having a number of records having fixed uh, length, fixed format or fields. Fixed number of fields. Fixed number of fields or attributes or each field uh, is usually a fixed length. So each a field a fixed length. These are the having fixed length. So here attributes, the entities which are having attributes, these attributes are having fields, these fields are having fixed length okay so uh, here format a specified format is used for record to st a record stores fields they are a specific format okay the specific format so some uh, this uh, record based logical models uh, will be used in the day-to-day -day life example for a hierarchical data model uh, several models are Several models are hierarchical model, second one is your 
नेटवर्क से भी माने जो रिलेशनल मोड है और नेटवर्क मोड है रिलेशनल मोड है हैं नेटवर्क रिलेशनल मोड है नेक्स्ट वन इज योर नेटवर्क सो अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर सिलेबस वी विल कवर ऑल द थिंग्स सो इन रिकॉर्ड बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल वी विल लर्न ईआर मॉडल दैट इज मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट हियर एंटिटी एंटिटी आर रिलेटेड दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल बट इन केस रिकॉर्ड बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल दोज आर वेर यूजिंग इन योर डे टू डे दैट इज मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट सो सेवरल मॉडल्स विल बी हायरार्किकल मॉडल रिलेशनल मॉडल एंड नेटवर्क मॉडल इन हायरार्किकल इन हायरार्किकल मॉडल रिलेशनल मॉडल नेटवर्क मॉडल सो रिलेशनल मॉडल विल डिस्कस इन यूनिट 3 इन डिटेल्स एंड हायरार्किकल मॉडल एंड नेटवर्क मॉडल विल बी डिस्कस डीपली इन यूनिट 4 सो दिस थ्री मॉडल्स विल बी डिस्क्राइब विल बी स्टडीड इन नेक्स्ट यूनिट इन डिटेल्स सो ओवरऑल आई विल टेल ओवरऑल हायरार्किकल मींस लेवल बाय लेवल सो हायरार्की लेवल बाय लेवल दे जे ट्री स्ट्रक्चर है वन ट्री वन लेवल ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टडीड दैट स्ट्रक्चर सो हियर देयर इज ट्री लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज अ हायरार्किकल मॉडल हायरार्की लेवल बाय लेवल रिलेशनल मॉडल सो हियर जस्ट लाइक योर ईआर मॉडल सो एंटिटी टेबल टेबल विल बी रिलेटेड विथ ईच अदर डिफरेंट रिलेशनल अलजेब्रा ऑपरेशंस डिफरेंट कैलकुलस रिलेशनल कैलकुलस आल्सो विल बी यूज्ड इन रिलेशनल मॉडल हाउ द टेबल्स विल बी रिलेटेड विथ ईच अदर सो वी कैन मर्ज टू टेबल वी कैन ऐड वी कैन रिट्राइव ए सिंगल फील्ड ऑफ ए टेबल एंड अनदर फील्ड फ्रॉम अनदर टेबल सो रिलेशनल कांसेप्ट विल बी यूज्ड हियर सो हाउ टेबल टेबल विल बी यूजिंग इन यूनियन ऑपरेशन इंटरसेक्शन ऑपरेशन कैटेशन प्रोडक्ट एवरीथिंग विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट हायर यूनिट ऑफ दिस पेपर एंड नेटवर्क मॉडल दिस मॉडल्स आर कनेक्टेड और मेनी टू मेनी रिलेशनशिप कनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर दैट विल आल्सो डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट हायर यूनिट सो दिस थ्री इंपोर्टेंट हायरार्किकल रिलेशनल एंड नेटवर्क नेटवर्क मॉडल मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट टुडे वी आर यूजिंग दैट इज कोडासी मॉडल वी आर आल्सो यूजिंग द जीपीटीजी एंड डेटाबेस टास्क ग्रुप एज अ ग्रुप ए न्यू कांसेप्ट सो एवरीथिंग विल बी डिस्कस इन यूनिट 3 एंड यूनिट 4 ओके सो दिस इज द रिकॉर्ड बेस लॉजिकल मॉडल सो दिस पॉइंट अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग यू सो दिस वन इज अ लॉजिकल व्यू और डेटा आर डिस्क्राइब्ड एट लॉजिकल व्यू और व्यू लेवल सो इन बोथ either uh, i may use object based logical model or record based logical model so here object based logical model uh, we are using er uh, model um, as or object oriented model we are given the example but here record based logical model which is having a fixed format records of database file so all files are fixed format for records and again records are having fixed number of fields these fields having fixed length This is the uh, difference between logical based as in process a uh, record based model. So these models are like examples are this is a hierarchical model where um, tree structure are used in the relational model where relational algebra relational calculus um, for database are used in case of network model there is a um, GPTG set we can will study or um, we can uh, use your data task group um, or Kodasi model also uh, you can use in case of network. So this is all about the uh, different uh, models of database management system. So now we are going to study about the ER model. Okay, that is the ऑब्जेक्ट्स बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल
Iya. So this entity relation symbol with the entity relation symbol. Entity relation symbol. So here entity entities are related. This model indicates that entity entity are related. So to show this relationship, we are using or we are using ER diagram. Are used. So in this ER model, the ER diagram are basically used. So most important ER diagram. Next, so we are coming uh, what is ER diagram. Now we will discuss the ER diagram. These ER diagrams are used in this ER. So ER diagram shows the complete logical structure of the database. Same thing, it also describes the logical structure. Logical structure of database. It also describes the logical structure of the database. And ER diagram shows the relationship among MDP sets. Resource, resource relationship. Resource also the relationship. Is it clear or not? So ER diagram, ER diagram are used in ER model. This ER, ER diagram which shows the relationship among entity, uh, relationship among among entity sets. So to study this ER model, first we will go for ER diagram. Among entities. Then come to ER diagram. Most important is your ER diagram. So this diagram describes the structure of the database with the help of a diagram which is known as ER diagram. So we can, uh, by using this ER diagram, we can show the ER model of the database that shows the logical structure of the database, how records are stored in computer memory or database. So to draw this ER diagram, this diagram is nothing but it is a geometrical set. It is a uh, geometrical set. It is a geometrical set. Clear? Geometrical set. It is nothing but a geometrical set. So, this geometrical set are, are having different symbols are used. So, by creating, by creating a year diagram for a year model, we will be using many shapes. Those shapes are rectangular shape, diagonal shape, okay, some elliptical shape, okay, and some line. So, these are the fundamental shape. This, this rectangular shape will be, re, uh, this, this shape represents the entities. It represents the entities. This one represents the relationship. This is the diagram symbol. This uh, represents the attributes. This line says the link. So in this diagram, in this ER diagram, 
that is used for year model use some fundamental symbols as it is a geometrical shape so these geometrical symbols are used to represent a year diagram this diagram uh, has an entity suppose a student student may be so student uh, will be written in this shape suppose the student having roll number having name date of birth father's name mother's name so these are the attributes or properties of this entity that is your um, that will be written inside this oval symbol or elliptical symbol and again the student is a entity another student may be another entity may be a teacher teacher may be another entity so teacher will be written in this shape so student and a teacher there is a relationship suppose a teacher teaches students so the teaching or teaches it is a relation uh, between two entity student and teacher that will be written teaching will be written in this shape that is a relationship so entity will be written entities will be written in this shape that is a rectangular shape and relationship a student teaches the students so uh, a teacher teaches the students so teacher will be written here and student will be written here. and teaches that is relate between two entity that is student and teacher the teaching or taught by will be written in this shape okay and some properties of or so attributes of students will be written in this also some attributes of a teacher will be written in this way. and they are related how they will be related that uh, link will be represented by that link will be represented by a line so entities can be represented by the symbol rectangular symbol and relation relationship between entities can be represented by this diagonal symbol and attributes of various entities will be represented by the oval or elliptical and linking between linking between attributes or linking between uh, this attributes to entity set or entity set to relationship will be done by this line so ear diagram is a visual tool this ear diagram this ear diagram this is a visual tool you can see it it is a visual you can view you can see the visual uh, tool which is helpful to represent this ear model so this visual tools helps to create the ear diagram which is used in ear model okay very well so we are we are going to study the ear model In ear model, this model must use a ear. So this ear diagram, the geometrical gives a geometrical shape. This shape can be constructed by using these symbols. So in ear uh, diagram model, there are entities, relationship, attributes, and links. So these are uh, these entities, relationship, attributes, and links are represented by a special symbols. That is your entities can be represented by a rectangular, a relationship can be represented by this um, diagonals, and attributes of entities can be represented by this elliptical and link links are represented by line. So overall, by using all these symbols, we can visualize this model. So that these models, the geometrical shape. Uh, uses the symbol. These are also called as some visual tools. The visual tools are used to construct to make a ear diagram. So these diagrams, these diagrams are used in ear model. That is most important. So ear diagram is most important in data base system. We will study uh, deeply how ear diagram, how ear uh, diagram will be helpful, how they are they will be constructed, how they will be. so an entity relation diagram so this entity relation they also call an ear diagram that is geometric geometrical representations of entity and relationship to each other 
सो दिस ईयर डायग्राम दिस ईयर डायग्राम ये ज्योमेट्रिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन रिप्रेजेंटेशन और ये इंडिकेट्स का रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एंटिटी सेल्स टिपिकली इट इज ए यूज्ड इन कंप्यूटिंग इन रिगार्ड्स टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ डाटा विद डेटाबेस और इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम सो इन कंप्यूटराइज्ड सिस्टम इन डेटाबेस सिस्टम इन थीम और इट इज ए कंप्यूटराइज्ड रिकॉर्डिंग सिस्टम सो कंप्यूटर स्टोर्स सम वैल्यूज सम डेटाबेस फाइल्स दिस फाइल्स आर अगेन स्टोर सम रिकॉर्ड्स दिस रिकॉर्ड्स आर अगेन स्टोर सम फील्ड्स दैट फील्ड्स इन स्टोर्स डेटा वैल्यू डेटा वैल्यू ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस so the file structure can be represented by this diagram the diagram that uses different shapes and this diagram is a, having some visual tools that is very helpful to give visualize about the logical structure of of the database system or it shows the relationship these entities these entity relationship so here entities entities are related so how they are related how they are stored or uh, every logical structure of the system will be represented by this year diagram so year model year model uses this year diagram okay so year model uses this year diagram clear um, so on next class uh, we will discuss about the components most important components of this year diagram what are the basic components uh, we have discussed entity attribute um, uh, relationship link everything will be discussed deeply and we will given uh, will be given some example uh, for the year diagram or examples of the year diagram how to construct year di diagram will be discussed okay this is my for today and we will wait for next video okay thank you